everyone, another excerpt from our book, Bold Women in Black History. And today we are going to learn about Gwendolyn Brooks. She was born in 1917 and she died in the year 2000. She was a writer and a poet. Gwendolyn always had a true love for language. She published her first poem by age 13 and at the age of 16, she got the chance to meet famous Black writers, James Weldon Johnson, Johnson and Langston Hughes, who both encouraged her writing. Johnson became a member to her, a mentor to her, and urged her to read other poets such as T.S. Eliot and Ezra Pound. Gwendolyn made a name for herself as a writer who focused on the Black experience and highlighted the lives of ordinary Black folks. In 1945, she published her first collection of poems about Black life titled A Street in Bronzeville, which earned her significant critical acclaim. In 1949, she wrote another collection of poems about the coming of age of a young Black woman called Annie Allen. In 1950, it was awarded the Pulitzer Prize, the most distinguished literary honor in the country. This made Gwendolyn the first African-American woman to win the award. She loved the magic that different writing techniques could produce, so she put all of her technical skills to work. It was a unique piece of writing with complex wordplay and a creative structure. She focused on small, everyday problems to illuminate larger issues and themes, such as a woman's role in society. In the 1960s, she was largely influenced by a group of young writers who had a strong desire to write poems for Black people, by Black people, and about Black people. This affected her style, which soon became sparser and less technical. Gwendolyn's writing was always a reflection of the times and the world around her, and most important, a reflection of the African-American experience. Gwendolyn Brooks, writer-poet, wrote her first poem at age 13, and at age 16, I believe, when she met the famous Black writers, that definitely made a difference in her career. So if you like this excerpt today, please press like at the end, and I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and make today a masterpiece.